Davis hurdles safely and in front. Devers has the lead. Tommy Lawson is there with her. Here comes Linda Good. And as they come toward the last hurdle, Devers, Linda Good, and Cheryl Dickey. One, two, three. Well, again, Gail Devers having trouble with that speed and went out very well. And, of course, she was over in lane two. So at some point you can think, gosh, oh, she's out of the race in a situation. But then, on the other hand, being in lane two, perhaps for her, was a good situation. She was well on the outside of the lane. She's second in lane two in the red. And she can stay over there and really focus on what she wants to do. Linda Talbert got out of the blocks very well also. But Gail Devers is moving very well here. I give her a lot of credit because I think she did run a very aggressive race. She could have run a safe race just to qualify for the team, but I saw no holding back on the part of Gail Devers and her unofficial winning time of 12.60 clearly puts her in line for an excellent chance of winning the Olympics. That's, in fact, the uh, fastest time in the U.S. this year. We'll see. Watch Gail go over the hurdle. See, she's getting a little bit high right here, and that is because she is getting too close to the hurdles, and she has to slow down. I know each time she gets there, she thinks, I have to slow down. I have to make it over this hurdle, or I could fall and end up in disaster. Here it is at full speed. See, Gail Devers starting in lane two. So Gail Devers hoping to erase memories of 92 when she was on her way to her second gold medal before falling in Barcelona and looking good winning the U.S. Trials hurdle final.